So I was just watching Lewis's video where he reviewed the microscope that uh, Dino Light sent him. I think his conclusion was that it was a $700 piece of shit to get all technical. Um, and I thought I'd make a quick little video here about my experience with these things as well. Um, I always wanted an electronics microscope. Um, I went here with the uh, with actually Lewis's recommendation. I, I got the Amscope, um, and it is just like he says. Uh, it is great. I mean, for for like 450 bucks, whatever it is, uh, the the image quality. Um, you know, I didn't have prior experience with this type of of a thing, and with the stereo, um, it's just great. You know, looking through there. Um, so. I'm very, very pleased with this, would highly recommend it. You know, it comes comes with the microscope, the stand. Um, it's worth getting the the ring light, which is sold separately, but uh, that's really good. It's got, you know, adjustable brightness, um, nice even illumination on there. So it's all good. Uh, and the other thing too is, that, and that's kind of the reason I wanted to make this, because uh, Lewis already talked about the microscope itself. Um, but the camera, so he's got that that six or seven hundred dollar camera. When I just, you know, I, I wanted to make sure that I could also record uh, stuff on mine. So I went looking for that camera that he had, and uh, uh, I think I had trouble finding the exact model. But then, yeah, they were quite expensive, and I kept coming across these other ones. They they look very very similar. You know, it's a it's a blue box, and. Um, there's a couple different manufacturers of these things, but these have very distinctive, um, the, the red buttons on top. Come on, focus you. There we go. Uh, so uh, anyway, I ended up getting this one uh, quite a bit cheaper. This is uh, $180. And I was disturbed by the reviews on Amazon. There are some positive reviews and some really negative reviews. <laughs> Excuse me, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I figured what the hell I'll get it if it's total garbage I'll return it, but it's kind of hard to tell like could it be that could it be that bad? You know, it's got um, It's got HDMI out Which is really all I cared about because I have an external HDMI capture solution So I figured I would just use that so, you know, this is plug just plugged into a monitor here um, in general generally speaking the uh, you know, the, it's it's not as good as as Lewis's, um, but it's a fraction of the price. And really, there, you know, the the lag on the on the screen is not bad at all. Um, the uh, the frame rate is not bad at all. I'm I'm, you know, I again I look through the uh, through the eyepiece anyway. But as far as doing video stuff, uh, I think you know, video comes out just fine. The HDMI out is is great. But the other thing that I didn't even consider at the time. It's got the card slot on it, uh, and it actually will do, uh, it does its own recording. So, you know, you don't even have to mess with the computer capture. You can just, uh, you know, the, me the menus are pretty crappy, but if you switch it over to video mode, I think, I don't remember which button you have to press. Oh, it's mode, I think, goes into, yeah, the little camera in the corner, and then you hit, uh, hit this button, and you got the red. So. I can I can insert this into the video I suppose um, so this will be you know this is a little bit just to move around a little bit point to stuff um, pretty good quality you know again I think it's it's not as good as Lewis's but it is uh, you know for me it's it's very nice and I never had anything this nice so quite pleased with that the other thing uh, beyond that it's also got the USB. And if you power it up with no memory card in it, then it shows up as a camera to the computer as well. So you could record directly into capture software on the computer over the USB, over the HDMI, or you can have the the, micro, uh, the camera itself record right onto the card. Of course, I don't trust that because, you know, who knows their crappy MPEG encoder might, might fail. But uh, it is, you know, it's nice to have those options. And for $180, um, to add that on, it, it's it seems like it's worth it. The only problem I have with this really is that the the uh, adapter that I have is very loose on here, so the camera tends to rotate 
and you know I'll be using this and then because the, all these cables are coming out of the top and they'll sort of push it over to the side and before I know it it's at an angle so you know this stuff just sort of is friction fit onto there and there, there, there's a little rubber gasket but it's not enough to keep the whole thing from rotating so uh, I'm just looking into changing the adapter really but that's that's about it and I guess if you get different adapters, you can kind of change the focal length and things. Um, but anyway, that's that's what I did, uh, and I would recommend that. And uh, the, the before this, what I had was a digital microscope. By the way, in terms in terms of cheap stuff, I think this is selling for sixty five dollars on Amazon now. Um, so you know, rather than and I, th I think this is significantly better than the $700 one. Uh, if you're going to get something, this is the one Dave Jones recommended a while back, or at least the, that style. They have this sort of um, metal stand with the, with the tube. Um, it's like sell them, you know, with typical uh, listings that have every possible word in them, endoscope, borescope, microscope, etc. I, I can link to, to, to which one this is. You know, this is a USB, so you do need to plug it into a computer. Uh, with that caveat, it's what I was using before I, I got the nice one here. And, you know, if you do want to get something that's it's well under $100, um, you know, you can get one of these. And I think you can, you know, you, know, you can do just fine. The frame rate's a little bit low. The, the picture quality is obviously not as good. The, the, it's, got, it's got an LED light in it. Um, I don't have it hooked up because I, I have to set up a PC in order to do that. But um, you know, I've done, I did some stuff with it in the past, and it's, it's adequate, um, and it's, you know, you actually is appropriate value for what you're paying for it, unlike that that seven hundred dollar one, which is just laughable, um, or sad, and or sad. So you know, um, anyway, these guys are great. I want so those are the three things I wanted to say. Um, absolutely love the recommendation on the Samscope. So glad uh, to to know which one to get and got it yeah and i agree with everything the boom stand is great I, I need to get it on something less wobbly that's that's my problem um and then you know in terms of a camera solution for under 200 dollars um i think this one works fine i'm not sure if all of the other ones that seem to be identical ripoffs of the same thing if they're all identically you know maybe some of them look exactly like this and they're crap um but anyway good camera and then if you, you know if you really want to go for something cheap um, I think, you know, this, this particular one is probably the way to go, or again, any of the other identical knockoffs are the same thing. Um, and you know, this has the advantage, of course, you can stick it into various orifices as well. It comes with adapters for that. So I guess if, you know, if you, uh, you know, need to look up your nose, um, you know, it's easier to do with one of these than with one of these. Uh, I haven't tried that personally. So yeah, there you go. Um, my thoughts on microscopes. See ya.